What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba Marina. I've got an aluminum 30 here. This is one of my assistant structures tanks. And we got a little issue here with the tank. I wanna see if you guys can hear what the issue is. If I take this tank and I turn it upside down, you'll hear kind of a rattling sound. If I turn it the other way, you'll hear another rattling sound as well. And I'm not sure how well that's picking up on camera. Let's see if I can get it closer to the mic for you. Hopefully you guys can hear that. And if you have a personal tank that you're using, or even if you rent a tank, one thing that's causing that is, of course, you got debris in the cylinder. But now, it's not something that's going to damage the tank. It's not something that's actually going to cause it not to breathe properly for you. And you're definitely not going to breathe whatever that rattling is. But what's actually causing it is the dip tube on the bottom of the valve. So if we look here on the bottom of the valve, you'll see this little dip tube. Sometimes they're permanently mounted on, sometimes they're screwed in, depending on how new or how old the valve is. Most of these are screwed in, which I know for a fact this one's screwed in as well because I actually put this cylinder together. But over time, depending on how well you torque that in there, those dip tubes can actually come loose. And when if they come loose, they're gonna fall down into the cylinder. Well, what is a dip tube for? Why do we have them there? First of all, we don't want any moisture in the cylinder because we know that it can corrode the cylinder. And that's really important, especially on a steel cylinder, but even on an aluminum cylinder, we still can get corrosion inside the cylinder. Well, basically what a dip tube is for is, let's say there's any moisture in that cylinder. If you flip upside down, so if you're in an inverted position like this when you're underwater, what can happen is, is without a dip tube, that moisture can actually come through the first stage, come through uh, or through the valve into the first stage and of course into your second stage and you're going to be able to breathe that. Well that dip tube prevents that and what it allows is the moisture to stay here but it still allows the air to come through the dip tube, through the valve, through the first stage and into the second stage. So to get that out or to fix the problem it's a real simple fix. Basically we're just going to bleed his tank down, take the valve off and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Alright guys so I got his tank drained off here. I'm going to pop the valve off and I'm going to show you once again that rattle. You can probably hear it a little bit better now. I'll show you exactly what that is. So as I unscrew the valve here, you'll notice that as the valve comes off, there's no dip tube on the bottom of it. Um, and the dip tubes are not really as important as what you think they are. Most of the time, you're not gonna have enough moisture in it for it to matter. A lot of technical divers actually take their dip tubes out, but the dip tube actually screws in here. And with the modern day dip tubes, it's just a little Allen head. It's actually the same um, Allen head size is what your port plugs in your first stage is, so it's very easy to tighten them back in there. But as you can see, his is missing here. And if I turn this tank upside down, give it a little shake, there's his dip tube. So if you ever have a cylinder that has a slot rattle in it, you're going to have some type of debris in there, but if it sounds like metal, more than likely it's this dip tube. Now if it's a newer cylinder, the good news is you can very easily just simply screw them back in there. It's a very easy fix. We just simply take an Allen head and tighten it back down with just a little tiny bit of torque there. If it's an older cylinder or an older valve, some of the dip tubes were not replaceable. So in that case, it may actually be broken off. And that's something that we're not going to know unless we actually take your valve off. But guys, that's what was causing, or causing all the rattle in his cylinder. So I'm just going to take my little Allen head here, give it just a little snug um, torque to it. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and viz his tank up for him because he runs out of viz in a month anyways. So we're going to go ahead and give him a fresh viz. We're going to look inside. Make sure the internal's good. We're gonna look at all the threads here, make sure they're good. And if his valve needs to be rebuilt, of course, we're gonna rebuild the valve as well. But guys, if you got any questions, or maybe if your cylinder has a rattle in it, more than likely it's gonna be that dip tube. It's a pretty easy fix. You simply drain your cylinder down, pop the valve off. Um, if it's not something you're trained to do, by all means, take it to your local technician or your local biz inspector and let him do it. But guys, if you got any questions on this, please put it down in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Uh, guys, if you like this video, you want to see more technical related gear videos, let me know down in the comment sections what it is you're wanting to see, and we'll try to get that video produced for you as quickly as we can. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.